Hello friends, welcome to Rolls Point. In this tutorial, we will talk about transport request log files and what are the different return codes and the different type of logs available in your transport management system. So let us tr start with an introduction. Transport request logs. So you can check the logs for the, your transport request using the transaction code SE01. So you can check the transaction logs once the transport request is completed. So when the transport request is completed in your transport management system using the transaction SE01, you can check the transport logs, whether the transport is successfully completed or there are some errors. There are different types of logs that exist in the transport log files. One is transport logs, other one is action logs. Transport logs, it keeps track of transport log files that have been moved in a transport request. Action logs, it includes the details of all the actions that have been performed in a transport request. So two type of transport log files are available under TMS. Action log includes export, import and various other, other actions that are available in the action log. One of the important function provided by the logs are the return codes. So different return codes that are available under transport logs. Zero, this value represents that export was successful. Four, this value represents that a warning was issued and the objects were transported successfully. Eight, this value represents that a warning was issued and at least one object could not be transported. Twelve or higher. This value represents an error in transport request and it is generally not caused by the object in the transport request. This probably occurs because of the system failure. So 12 or higher means the request is not successfully completed and thus any error has occurred because of the system failure and it is not caused by the objects in the transport request. Now let us see where the transport logs are available. So to see the transport logs we have to go to transport management system so this is my transport management system you can reach to this screen using the transaction STMS now run the transaction SE01 it will take you to transport organizer screen to check the transport logs you have to click on this go to option at the top and here you can see the transport logs that are available for the transport request. So this is how you can perform the transport log monitoring in the transport management system. So in this tutorial we have covered the transport logs, what are the different type of transport logs and action logs and the return code for the transport logs. Thank you.